The K-State Alumni Association president has only a few days left on the job. She will retire officially later this week, but her impact and legacy during her 46 years on the job will live on for decades to come. For this month's Everything Woman, meet Amy button Renz. This is one of my grandfather's letter sweaters. Amy Button Renz and her family have bled purple for decades. In fact, she is the third generation to go to K-State. I grew up a Wildcat. My parents went to K-State. My uh, three of my grandparents went to K-State. I'd like to share my grandfather scored the very first touchdown in Memorial Stadium the year it was built. Um, but I'm a, a wildcat and always have been. Let me tell you, it didn't stop at Amy. Her kids and grandkids are wildcats, and it's safe to say at least one of them will be in Manhattan for college, too. This is our son and his wife, and they're both K-State graduates. Amy's name might sound familiar if you're involved with the university. She is the president and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. She has made a difference in so many ways. She started working for the association on June 1st, 1977. As the years went on, she didn't want to leave. For a time, she served as vice president before becoming interim president when her predecessor was leaving. While they searched for a replacement, she thought, why don't I try for the role? Because I'd worked here for you know over 20 years, um, it was not something I was counting on, but I was very excited when they named me permanently as the president and CEO. In 1994, she made history for the school's alumni association. I was the first female, and it was in the Big 8, and then obviously in the Big 12, and I belong to a professional organization called the Council for Alumni and Association Executives. It's about 100 uh, different schools, and at the time, there were less than 10 women that were in this role. K-State was, I would maybe use the word progressive, and realizing it didn't make any difference whether the CEO was female or male. The thought of being the only woman at the top didn't stop her from getting to work. Amy has accomplished a lot of big things during her time. One of them is this building, the home of the Alumni Association. Fun fact, they didn't have this until 2002. The association kind of just roamed around the campus wherever they could fit in, so Amy did something about it. By the year 2002, we had an alumni center and it was something that everybody really wanted and we had about 1400 people that donated to the project so it wasn't one of those projects where you know you had a lead gift and I think that the fact that that many K-Staters really believed in what we wanted to do uh, was extremely rewarding. What about the students? She says making lasting relationships for the university starts with the kids. Getting to them early, not once they have already graduated. One thing she thought the school needed, student ambassadors. We elected uh, a male and a female and and the students voted on it. That started in 1977. These ambassadors, one male and one female, are voted on by students. They spent a year traveling with the association and talking to potential students and alumni. Our second two were Sue Livingston and Mitch Holthus, the voice of the Chiefs. Her time here has been spent making the university better, not just because she's alumni president, but because she cares so much for the university and every single Wildcat. Why? end it at 46. Why not hit to 50? <laughs> well, uh, the real reason is because things are so good right now. And I've always said I would know when it was time. And I, when I made the decision, I was very comfortable with it. I'm totally at peace, have no regrets. She was awesome to speak with. 46 years. Could you like in imagine all of the stories that she has to share? The people she knows, all the purple clothing she has. <laughs> yes, she has a lot of purple, let me say that. A lot of memorabilia and another thing, she has was naming all the people that she gets to work with every day, the president, the you know directors and all of that. And what she was saying, and I'm like, wow, you are a, bit, you are a boss, girl boss, yeah. as the kids would call them now, but she is great, doing some great stuff for sure over there. Now, Amy is not staying away from her Wildcats. While she will officially retire, she says she will make sure she volunteers for the university, attend games, and she will also get to spend some time with her family as well. Oh, that's good. Yes. And if you know somebody you think isn't everything woman, please let us know. All you've got to do is go to KSNT.com and then nominate them there, and we feature these stories on the last Tuesday of each month.